everyone. Before I meet with you tomorrow, I wanted to go over what we will be looking at together. I only have 10 minutes to talk to each of you, so I thought I'd create a video for those who wanted to have a heads up of what we're talking about. So the first thing you're going to see is your student's name, and then it'll say their ELA or English Language Arts score, so English. So I have given six tests so far. Comp 1 means comprehension 1, and so that's where students listen to a story and then they answer the question and we see if they're understanding what they're hearing. So each week we've had comprehension and spelling, so we've had three weeks of that. So that will be their total score. The next thing we will be looking at is Dibbles, and Dibbles is a reading test. So the first test, you're going to get a paper that looks similar to this. I can't show student names, so I'll just leave it at this point. And the first section is um, was listening to sounds. So if I say the word cat, can they go k at and break it apart? They needed 40. The goal was 40. The student have 44, so that's great. Okay, the next level is phonics, which is where I look at the word. I say, I say, okay, read me the word, and they go k at. So just saying the sounds, they needed 27. This student met it. They had 27. Now the next level is look at the word. So if I have the word cat written, they look at it, they think it in their head, and they just say cat. No more sounds. And that's the higher level. He needed, he or she needed one, and they had zero, which is very typical for this beginning of year. Okay, so by next time though, if we're looking over here, next time they need to be able to read eight words in their head. And then they'll need to read a story at 23 words per minute at 78% accuracy. And this is why reading at home is so important, okay? Because I, I work with them at school, but I don't have tons of time. I wish I had more um, time to read with them, but um, we're doing a lot of other things as well. Okay, next you'll see bling. And on bling, we have 150 sight words that we are working to memorize to help us become fluent readers. So each of these areas is 10 words, and they have to read that list of 10 in 11 seconds or less, okay, to earn their bling. And then math, we've only had two tests so far. We've had an addition, 0 to 10, and a subtract subtracting within 0 to 10. So their average will be right here. Last of all, we have a lot of social studies. Um, Ms. Turner and I take turns teaching classes, so sometimes she comes in my room and I go in her room so that they get a little, um, they get more lessons by having two teachers instead of just one. And then their social studies grade will be right there. Now the reason why I have this make-believe word, I forgot to go over this, is that, okay, if I, if I make that large K, in the past we wanted them to be able to go k i v kiv In the middle of the year, our hope to be on grade level is that they'll look at it and they'll do it in their head. Kiv, okay? So, and, and we'll keep working on that throughout the entire year. Um, the other things I wanted to bring up are if your student had kindergarten with us, we have a test result called um, KEEP. It's a, it's a kindergarten entry and exit form that shows how much they grew in their literacy and numeracy. So letters and um, numbers. And then last of all, this is pretty important, is we are going over, we have been screening students for their number knowledge. And the reason why we're doing this is because we want to catch students where they're struggling before they get older and still don't know certain elements of math. So in, in first grade, this looks like if I show you a bunch of numbers, do you know this number is 32? Do you know this number is 84? Can you just read it to me? Okay, the next level after that is if I, if I tell you 10, can you tell me the next number? So I'm going to tell you 10, they need to say 11, 15, 16, 87, 88. Okay, then after that, the next level is if I show you two numbers, can you tell me which one's more? So if I have 27 and 32, 32 would be more. 
okay? And so this was our first year taking this a cadence math test, and it was kind of a struggle for a lot of us, um, which it being our first year was very normal, I'd say. You know, we're going to keep working on it, but I'll just give you some pointers. Maybe your student could benefit by playing some of those games where you're like, hey, what's after 25? And they have to say 26 or etc. cetera. Um, I hope that's beneficial and helpful because we don't have too much time, but I'm very excited to meet each of you and tell you how much your student has already grown in just five or six weeks. I love being with them each day and um, learning from them because I, I know um, they're ahead in other ways that I'm definitely not. And I tell a lot of them, I'm like, oh, I wish I spoke Spanish like you do. And, you know, and so anyway, I'm excited to meet you all. Hope this helped. Talk to you soon. Bye.